Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and today I'm going to review the Chopular. What is a Chopular? This is a Chopular made by dreamfarm.com. Now, for a long time, this has been one of my favourite tools, um, cooking implements. Um, you can see it's got a bolt where I've had to repair the um, this bit kept falling off. And this used to be a lot longer and it's gradually melted its way down. When I bought this, there was a whole range of kitchen utensils, which all claim to be amazing kind of heat resistance and suitable for all uses. And I picked up this one and this was the one out of the whole range that said, do not use in a hot pan. I, I used it in a hot pan, it's melted and I've probably eaten quite a lot of plastic. Um, so I thought when I saw this chopular in a shop, even though it's quite expensive, I think it's 10 pounds, maybe more. Um, I thought I'd buy it, but I'm going to carry on using this because it makes a brilliant scraper for bowls, you know, for cream and custard and gooey things that you don't want to waste any of. You're going to scrape it all out and eat it. Right, so enough about, well, I know I might need that in a moment. Um, I've got a lovely stainless steel prestige um, fish slice here, but I don't often use it because this being a, I bet people wincing there, don't touch the Teflon. Um, this being Teflon or non-stick of some description, I can't scrape away at it with this or it'll wreck the pan. So that's got to go. Oof. Um, so, is the Chopula the solution? Well, it claims to be able to cope with temperatures up to 250 centigrade or 480 Fahrenheit, which is hotter than most people's ovens go, I'd say. So hopefully a pan is not going to go beyond that either, unless I really put in a hot oil and really crank it up so it's burning or something. But I'm going to try one of my favourite dishes with this and see how it gets on. I should say this is quite flexible, it flexes that way, like a really long way. Um, the other way, it doesn't flex. It's got this stiffening here on the side, which is also like a kind of scoop, which I guess you could hold things in there with a bit, um, which stops it bending this way, but it does bend eventually if you keep pushing it kind of feels like it folds over but it it recovers so it doesn't wreck it thankfully and the other thing you'll notice is this really bent handle that's intentional because when you've been scraping away in, in the oil or glute pour a um omelette or something like that you can put it on your surface you can't really see from here but it's sitting on its side so this bit this bit here is up in the air off the surface and the handle which should be clean anyway is on the surface so you're not getting any dirt on the surface and not picking up any dirt from the surface so this this would be good probably in a kind of barbecue like circumstance not in flames probably it wouldn't like that but you could put it down on the ground and not pick up any mud or gravel or grit or anything so i'm going to give this a test um, i'm going to try cooking one of my favorite meals it looks so appetizing doesn't it this is sauce mix with a bit of chipotle in i'm a big fan of sauce mix now i haven't tried this before but i want to see whether i can scrape stuff out of the bowl with with the chopula or whether i'll need to resort to my good old plastic one here than melty melty spatula let's try this that's not actually that bad it's scraped out pretty well things almost entirely clean and with a bit more scraping I didn't think that would work but it did now here's one of the pitfalls of this ah, I should have put some oil in just put some oil in a moment ha ah, I can put this down on the surface even though it's covered in sauce mix it's not going to get any dirt on my hob superb I'm going to tip in a little bit of rapeseed oil just to stop it sticking and make it fry nicely and I'm going to put a bit on the back of here as well to try and stop it sticking. Because here's my one criticism. When I try and squash my sauce mix down, it does, it bends a lot for a start, so I can't squash it down very well. And sometimes it sticks as well, but yeah, it's too bendy. And of course, I can't really squash it from this side so easily because the handle's so bent. So this bit, I might need to use my good old fashioned spatula here which you can probably see is squashing it down 
a lot more nicely to make a this might be a schnitzel or a, I don't know a thing a nice thing made of a sauce mix that I'm going to eat so I can squish that all down like so with the other one or you could use the back of a spoon but that's my one complaint of the chopula that it doesn't seem to have the stiffness to do that but I guess it can't have the stiffness to do that and also be flexible enough to scoop things up yeah it's just too bendy to apply with pressure all right well I'm going to turn on my induction hob now and much as I love this induction hob it's very noisy there we go <laughs> I can't go in this way because it curves the wrong way, so I have to go in this way to get around the edges. But I think you can see this would work nicely for pancakes and omelettes, fried eggs, all kinds of things where you need to get around the edges and loosen it off. Okay, can I flip it? Yes, I can. I put it there, no grease getting on my surface. And it being a plastic, it's not going to heat up from the, from the induction. This one might do actually with this metal shaft. That could melt possibly. And actually my bolt repair here could melt as well if I left it too close to the induction hob. Woo! Flip, flip, flip. This is working really well. And if I use the stiff side of it, this side, I can kind of squish it down a bit that way, but it's not as good as the old plastic spatula. <coughs> But yeah, I'm glad I got this. Um, I bought it as a gift for myself, so um, it's certainly not an unwanted gift. It doesn't seem to be being affected by the heat at all. I've used it a few times now. And yeah, it survived hot pans. I've not actually left it in a, in a hot pan or put it in the oven or given it a real dest destruction test. But I think this is gonna be a um, long-term kitchen utensil for me. And you'll probably find one in maybe in a specialist kitchen shop or possibly online as well. I guess if you go to the dreamfarm.com website, you should find where you can find them. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna, oh, we're gonna try the chopula thing then. See if I can chop in half. Oh yes, that's good. Can I chop the ends? Yep. So there's four servings, not very equal ones, of veggie goodness for you. Thanks for watching.